because I have been. I, I, at my age now, I'm starting to figure out if I painted myself into a corner, um, is it a corner that is important? Um, is it a corner that has a legacy to it? Uh, it's a body of work that it's 30 years of watermen and boats and gear and, and other things on the, on the bay. Um, I'm visit my wife Phyllis and I are, are going to the attorneys and revisiting our will. I'm having to set up an estate. An estate brings up into questions like, where does this exhibit fit into the larger, larger body of work? And it does. Um, to me, it's kind of more of a natural progression because I did 30 years ago, the guys knew who they were. They were more portrait by posture they, and by the clothes that they were wearing and the gear that they were doing. Some people oyster and some people don't. Um, so they were able to identify themselves that way. But as I spent more and more time with them in the pictures, the photographs got more and more personal of their faces, um, the subtleties of expressions, because I've known some of these guys for a long time. Those became kind of overriding uh, challenges, painting, um, smaller and smaller brushes, um, and printing pictures that are overexposed to see more detail, printing pictures that are underexposed because the shapes become more important as darks and lights and composition, um, trying to find a compromise between an overexposed photograph and, 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 and one that was just shot with that light. Uh, that's a challenge. Technically, um, smaller brushes, thinner and thinner layers of paint, um, building these up slowly, and then I'll come back the next day and go, ah, crap. I get a bigger brush loaded up with paint and just slap it all over everything that I've painted, let it dry, and that comes close. It's almost like, in a way, I'm building the information in to do I can do the painting over the top of it. It's like I used to think about photographs. I have been accused of being photographic. That's, that's up to somebody who doesn't look at the medium and go, well, that's watercolor. I'm not one to radically change what I'm painting. I, there are mysteries in there that make me take the picture. I'm not constantly going, oh, good picture, and shoot that. It does happen. So uh, as a result, I paint very close to the photograph, but then I'll put that away and bring back the more subtler things that maybe my mind was responding to when I took the picture. So in these faces, there's, you have to get, like last year, you need to get up close to see the faces because in some of them, um, like the one that's called, uh, mus mud, was it mud and muscles or something? If you look in the corner of his eye and you gotta be real close, he's looking right at you and he's looking at me with the camera going, what are you doing? There's a certain wariness to that. Um, there's, uh, like the one I did of Judge North, he, I, I asked him if I could take his picture. I've known him for 30 years. Um, and we're very close and we're good friends. And, and that aspect of being very close is scary. You don't, want, you don't want a family member going, well, I don't know that look, or that doesn't look like him. So again, I'm back to the verisimilitude of the photograph before I build the painting on it. So all of that fits into my getting better at painting water, it getting better at painting skies. It fits into the larger body of work. Um, several years ago, Carla and I had a discussion about needing to go back into all of the paintings that I have saved and perhaps getting rid of some because they weren't up to the quality of the moment. And, and for a long time, I kept, you know, almost everything. Um, Phyllis hated it. Uh, I had to close the door to the studio because you could hear me just going. <laughs> I must have torn up 40, 45 paintings. The ones that I kept were good indicators in the various stages of this body of work, um, where I had perhaps, I called them leaps ahead. It was like everything had accumulated and went into several paintings that were um, representative of where I was here and technically, whereas the ones that came before were the awkward pieces, the junk. It's like the stuff you see, like Antiques Roadshow. 
Well, this was from his earlier period, and he hadn't quite found himself yet. So the decimal point is here and not way over here. Um, it, it's, it's this evolution of, of a body of work about the Chesapeake Bay and the things that happened on it, like, like uh, the Starboat Championship and things like that, um, log canoes, the Kennedy Cup at the, at the Navy Academy. But I'm on the water two or three days a week all year long. I was crabbing yesterday with Johnny Kinnaman, who's 85. His son, they build boats. His son was alongside us at times. I got the picture of this dynamic of father and son. And there are several of those in, in this exhibition of fathers and sons. Um, they got more personal. Um, and there, I did not want them to be compositional elements in a painting where I could simplify everything and just make them shapes and, and more like a color field abstraction, which at times fascinates me. You can see some of that in, in some of these pictures, larger shapes of larger colors and whatnot. But I do end up spending a lot of time texturing them. And it's, I don't want to get away from it. There's a painting coming up in, in, at the downrigging, a boat going away from you and a boat coming at you, but they're stopped. And they're talking. And the title is, They Lowered the Price Again on Your Oysters. Uh, and there's this, there's so many layers to this activity. And, and it's not just the personal relationship I have with these guys, but the work that they're doing and the crap that they got to deal with to do it. And, and nature they can handle. It's the laws and, and all the other things. Um, they just did the stock assessment for the oysters and it looks really good, but they're already talking about, let's review this in January, the oyster from October to the end of March, and they've got these other things coming up if the assessment shows over harvesting in places, uh, and, and they've they got to worry about it. I crabbed yesterday with Johnny Kinnaman from 5 o'clock in the morning to, I think we stopped at 9.40 to almost 10 o'clock. We weren't catching anything. They're all little ones right now. They're all peeling, they're all shedding, they're all, you know, this evolution that they got to deal with. Um, how do you find that in their faces?